Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage where today we have the Ducati Street Fighter up on the lift and it's getting a little coolant upgrade. That's right. There's not much that you can do about the hot temperature that this thing runs about 215 degrees except Duca Bike has just released a new cooling heat sink pipe for the side radiator for the left side radiator hose that is a complete replacement with what they call a heat sink. Now, if you guys know heat sinks, heat sinks basically allows the air to go around the pipe to allow it to cool. Now, originally, again, huge shout out to Stefano over at Moto Wheels for getting me this. We thought it was sold by Duca Bike and it was made by Duca Bike, but in fact, it is performance technology. And the pipe is here, so you can see it's got a heat sink. So this pipe is going to be replacing the side pipe. This goes just basically just like so. And this is replacing, again, this side coolant hose. So this side is where we're going to be working today. We're going to be getting this hose clamp off, that hose clamp off. So we are going to be taking this side off and just basically replacing it. So it looks like a fairly easy job, but... We also thought the Bonamici rear sets were going to be an easy job three hours later. Uh, now, uh, over here, I have already pre-taken off the tank cover side here. Very simple to do. Two bolts here, three bolts here, and then it snaps off. You're going to need to get to here because you need to get to the radiator cap, obviously, to fill it and your reserve. So let's go ahead and get this on there and see how easy it is to get this thing installed. Let's throw on the chesty cam and make it nice and simple and get this thing ripped apart. All right guys, so we've got the chesty cam on and this is the area that we're working on. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get the uh, side cover off. I'm not sure if we have to take this winglet off, but uh, what I have done is right inside here, there is one bolt that you'll have to take off. And then the other one is right down here. So we'll go ahead and get this one removed be fairly simple and that's going to allow us to remove this top cover and it slides up and out and you know for just for cautionary measures let's go ahead and take this bottom wing off just to make sure we don't break anything all right, we are taking both wings off apparently. <laughs> so both wings looks like they both have to come off because this piece is all one piece, I think. And that's the piece that we want to get loose. So we want that one loose and we're getting this piece loose here. So right here. And we are moving up there. All right, so both the wings are off and we're working on this little plastic cover here. And one last one here. And of course this one's smaller and it looks like it's a, he a hex. So let's go ahead and grab that piece off. All right, so we've got two more bolts. There's one upwards here, which again, these are all the same. So these are all four millimeters. So we're coming down with this one. And then one last one, which of course is hidden right up here. And there it is right there. So it looks like we can spare from taking this side cover off and voila. So we've got that bolt right there is our last little culprit. So that gives us the access to this hose. This is the hose that we're replacing here. So what we're gonna do is uh, I already have my little seven millimeter. So we're gonna crack this one loose. And 
That one I can get with the screwdriver. But this one, if you guys can see, they put it straight up and down. So this is gonna take a little bit of loosening to do. So let's go ahead and get these loosed. But before we break it loose, we're gonna go ahead and get something to put under here so when we pull the hose, we've got something to drain that coolant into. All right, so we've got this one completely loose. Man, it was it really kind of went a long way. So we've got that hose clamp completely loose and this one seems like it's pretty loose. Let's see if it's loose enough. So I've got these nifty little cups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull real quick and I've got some rags down here to catch anything, but I'm hoping I can pull this off. So let's get this little rubber band off here. So they <laughs> zip tied. All right, so let's go ahead and get this pulled off. It's gonna fight you a little bit. So I didn't think about this. <laughs> so the radiator hose, the bottom of the radiator is gonna drain. So it's gonna drain the whole hose. So what we're gonna do is quickly put this back on. We lost a little bit and we're gonna pull it up from the top. This is gonna be a mess, you guys. So be prepared, get some rags. I'm gonna get some more rags and uh, let's get our parts out of the way so we don't get cooling all over everything. All right, so there we are, all installed. Uh, really, it didn't take too long. So it took me more time probably to get that thing tight because it's like 10th of a turn, 10th of a turn, 10th of a turn. But what I did end up doing was uh, I kind of got it all lined up and then I did get this one uh, turned to the back like the other ones, so it's just kind of hidden. And uh, make sure all of the four that they supplied are all tight because they were not completely tight. Uh, of course, that one took the longest back there, and then that one's a screw. And then you guys are, that's it. You guys are installed. Uh, fairly simple. I would say probably 10 minutes of fussing around with the placement. It says make sure, uh, it, it's very clear to make sure that there's a good eight minimum eight millimeter gap. So let's see, I think we're about, about that. So, I mean, obviously we're not sitting up against it. So what they don't want is they don't want this sitting up against it. So I think that's good. And uh, so let's get the side buttoned up, all the antifreeze cleaned up and see what it looks like with all the side coverings back on it. All right, so the Performance Technology coolant hose is on. Um, I would say we've got about a 30-minute deal here, probably about 10 minutes to take the bike apart, about 10 minutes to finagle the pipe to get it to kind of sit correctly, and then about 10 minutes on this top screw. Now make sure when you get that hose clamp up at the very top that the hose is all the way on. The first time, actually, it wasn't on all the way, so uh, I ended up having to undo the hose clamp and then redo the hose clamp. So take your time, I would say uh, 30 minutes and then you're starting to put it back together. Now, performance technology made in Italy. It is all written in Italian, but I will say uh, the pictures are pretty descriptive. So pretty easy. Um, there is, it does say drain the radiator, but you guys saw at the beginning how I did it. I would just take the top pipe off pull it down, drain it in the bucket. Uh, let's see. Oh, down at the bottom, the very last, it says that they want a minimum at eight millimeters between the case and here. I have about five right now, but I started to mess around with this hose clamp and I'm gonna undo this one and, and move this just a teeny bit more. But you can see I kind of scratched the frame right there a little bit. So I'm gonna move that hose clamp around, try to get that bent up just a teeny bit more to get a little bit more clearance. But um, I, like I said, about 10 minutes of finagle, but make sure you guys give yourself enough room between the case cover and the, uh, the red uh, fins there. But outside that, fairly easy job. Now, a uh, huge shout out again to uh, Stefano over at Moto Wheels. Thank you for getting me this. I, I believe, like I said earlier in the video, I think Duke Bike is selling this, is distributing this. Uh, about $250. 
claims about five degree temperature drop. So we'll check that out. I'm not sure how that all works because the fans come on at a certain temperature, but uh, if it helps keep it cool, I think it's gonna be beneficial. $250 beneficial, that's up to you guys. You know I gotta do everything on the bike for you guys, just to kind of give you guys uh, some good ideas. So uh, if you guys are looking at that, um, hopefully this is helpful. Now, uh, as you guys have maybe noticed, we have the bike all taped up and numbered, Carlin, uh, for our Laguna Seca Ducati only exclusive track day after Moto America next Monday. I'm super, super stoked. We're gonna have the Street Fighter out there and we're coming home with two more Ducatis. So stay tuned, you guys, stay tuned. Um, but the Street Fighter is gonna be out there and uh, I can't wait because there's gonna be a lot of press out there. So hopefully we'll see this thing out. Um, some magazines, I don't know. Anybody that watches the videos, you guys are welcome to come out and take pictures at Laguna Seca. Um, do the normal, you guys. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. The like button is more important than you guys know. Um, OG guys, thank you guys for sticking around. People that stick around for the end of the videos, you guys need to stick around more often. You know why? Because I drop hints. I bought another bike. Another bike. No, not the MT-03. Not the one that's coming the ultra rare. I bought another $38,000 motorcycle. Stay tuned. Uh, comment down below what you think I got. Snickers, what did you think? $38,000. And it's not a bike that you were expecting me to buy. Uh, we're picking it up later this week, so stay tuned. Uh, new bike day is coming again. And uh, the Ducati's out on track, so thank you guys for all your support. Uh, do the normal, you know, this is more important than you know, but we'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.